Now, I want to again solve some commonly asked questions such as counting the number of vowels in a given string. Counting the number of vowels in a given string. For example, this is a string. How many vowels are there? What are vowels first of all? I think everybody knows in English vowels are A, E, Vowels are A, E, I, O, U. These are your vowels. Okay. How many vowels are there? O is a vowel, so one vowel, I is a vowel, so two vowels are there. So you must return that count called as two. Now this is a very simple program. I think everybody knows how you can do that. All you have to do is run a loop. Run a loop. Starting from the first character. Check if that character is a vowel. How will you check? Conditions are there. But you should maintain a count. Initially count is 0. Now check if there are vowels. How will you check if there are vowels? Okay. The character at the ith position you take, store it inside a variable called a C. Why are you storing it inside C? Because I want to check if that character is equal to one of these conditions. Is C a vowel? I want to check. How will you check that? C if C is A. If C is E, if C is I, or if C is O, or if C is U. But it may be capital letters also. So check if it is capital A, capital E, capital I, capital O, capital E. I hope you are able to understand. Any confusion till here? If any of these conditions satisfied, come inside and increment the value of count. That's all. Which means C obviously is not a vowel. So, uh, you know, if I uh, check C is not a vowel, so condition is going to be false. If condition is false, I am not going to increment count. I moves forward. Is O a vowel? Yes, O is a vowel, which means, you know, this condition will satisfy. Is O, capital O equal to O? None of these conditions will satisfy. But the beauty about OR is even if one condition satisfies, the entire conditional condition expression evaluates itself to be true. Which means, if this is true, then come inside, increment the value of count. So, count is going to become 1. Again, move I forward, obviously, D is uh, not a vowel. But I is a vowel, condition is true, increment the value of count. N is not a vowel, obviously, condition is false. right? And uh, G is not a vowel, so condition is again false. And uh, after which, uh, that's about it. So, return the count. Any confusion till here? Good. Let's go write the logic. So I will go and minimize that uh, code. Yeah. Now there what I am going to do is I will tell static int because I am returning an integer count of vowels. Okay. Uh, count vowels I will call it as. It will accept a string yes. Next inside that I will go. And I am going to just run a loop. So, I will first int count equal to 0 because I need a count. Uh, after this, what I am going to now do is I will tell for int i starting from 0, i less than yes dot length because you know it should go to length. And guys, be very careful. Whenever you are using strings, it is a method. Whenever you use an array, it is a variable. So, this difference you should keep at the back of your mind. Anyways, i++. I will come inside this. And uh, there, uh, what I am essentially going to do is, now check if in case. Uh, first, let us take the character at the ith position. Okay, Remove it. Yes dot character at the ith position, I will take. This I will store it inside one character variable called as C. Declare it. Any confusion till here? In the next line, what I will do is I will run a loop. I mean, I am sorry, I will check a condition if in case. Now, see here, some of you will be thinking, sir, why did you store this inside C? Because how many times I have to check? Whether this character is equal to that, equal to this, equal to that. If I don't store it inside a variable, every time I should call this method. Yes dot character of i, is it equal to small a? Yes dot character of i, is it equal to small e, small i, small o, small u? Then capital A, capital E, capital I, capital, I, capital O, capital U. In other words, I am storing it inside a variable so that you can reuse it. 
otherwise every time you call a method unnecessary execution time is getting wasted so you must be efficient programmers only once you call the method I hope you are able to think now I will just, just complete the condition Press enter here. I said enter. Yeah. Capital A, capital E, capital O, press enter. And uh, yeah, A E I O U. Fine. Inside that, I will come and I will tell count plus plus. Next, I will come scroll down and there I will tell outside that for loop I will return the count. Yeah. Now if in case I go and if in case I now compile this program I mean after obviously call the function go back now scroll down remove that is palindrome call that function. Now, I am passing A, B, C, B, A. So, how many uh, vowels? A is there two times, E is there one, so three times. Okay, three should be the count. Let us go. And if in case I now compile it, no issues. If I execute it, three. So, it works. Great. <clears throat> 